Grace and peace to you, members of our prayer group here at West Parish of Barnstable, United Church of Christ. If you have specific prayer concerns or celebrations you would like raised up uh, next week, just email me or call the office. I'd be happy to add them in. This week, let's keep Fred Kloss and our ch church sexton in our prayers. Fred's been battling some issues. He's been in and out of the hospital. Hopefully, by the end of the week, he'll be back in the pink. Speaking of this coming weekend, this coming weekend we will be celebrating All Saints Day. Now throughout the year there are special days to celebrate individually named saints, like St. Peter's Day, St. Matthew's Day, etc. Now All Saints Day is a day set aside by the church to remember everybody else, all the saints. Saints being another word for Christian, for members of the church. And this week, I was thinking back on how we Congregationalists are offshoots of the Anglican Church, the Church of England. In fact, I was brought up in its American cousin, the Episcopal Church. And if there is one thing the Anglican Churches are known for, it is their prayer book. Now, while we Congregationalists are devotees of unscripted prayers, prayers composed for that day and that specific occasion. Episcopalians, Anglicans, in their worship, they lean heavily on the prayers in their Book of Common Prayer. These prayers are often beautifully written, hundreds of years old. And for those who prefer this style of worship, the repetition of those words can be quite spiritual. Now I have here the Book of Common Prayer, which was gifted to me back on May 9th, 1971, when I was confirmed. It was given to me by my, by my grandparents on my father's side. So let us be in the spirit of prayer as I read aloud a collect for grace from the service for morning prayer, followed by the words to a hymn penned in 1842 for All Saints Day. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who hast safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings, being ordered by thy governance, may be righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now the hymn. Around the throne of God, a band of bright and glorious angels stand. Sweet harps within their hands they hold, and on their heads are crowns of gold. Some wait around him, ready still to sing his praise and do his will. And some, when he commands them, go to guard his servants here below. Lord, give thine angels every day command to guard us on our way and bid them every evening keep their watch around us while we sleep. So shall no wicked thing draw near to do us harm or cause us fear. And we shall dwell when life is past with angels round thy throne at last. As we listen to Steve Gregory play an instrumental version of I Sing a Song of the Saints of God, let us hold in prayer the members of our parish prayer list, together with any other prayers that might come to you.
God bless you and God be with you till we meet again.